I'm Sean Myers of the Westmoreland Sports Network, now joined by the former head coach of the Borough Buccaneers wrestling program, Josh Shields, who recently decided to step away after 11 terrific years at the helm of the Buccaneers, winning nine WPIAL team titles. First off, congrats on a great run. Obviously, you had incredible success, almost unparalleled in the WPIAL. You made this decision coming off of a championship once again. What made now the right time to step away? Yeah, I mean, it's really it's really something that's kind of been, you know, looming since the the birth of my my oldest, um, who's four years old. Um, and just, you know, as sort of kept uh, kept coaching, kept adding kids. And like I said, my youngest just is just turning one. Um, so it's just becoming a lot, right? And and wrestling, you know, for the past eleven years has truly been my, you know, number one priority and, and giving 110% to the to the bro wrestling community. Um and that was being tough. It was tough to do. You know, I'm not a, you know, I'm not a school teacher, you know, I have a really awesome job, with flexible schedule where I'm able to continue to coach. But um, like I said, as I grow in my professional career, you know, as I continue to, you know, be a father and, and that's a full-time job, as you may or may not know. Um, yeah. It just seemed like now is the, the right time to step away. There's a, a great group of, group of seniors, um, you know, on that team that will, you know, take over next year, which really will help. Um, they help the transition on whoever the new coach is. So I know you said you've been thinking about this since your first child. So it's obviously mm -hmm. something that, you know, you were considering when would be the right time. Did you know before the season had concluded that this would probably be it for you? Yeah, I, um, you know, I pretty much informed, um, you know, the, the, the people that it impact the most, um, you know, at the end of last year. Um, and that's really just being, you know, my assistant coaches and, and just saying like, Hey, you know, I think, I think next year is going to be, going to be it. Um, like I said, at that point, like I said, the third son wasn't um, born yet. Um, so I just, I just figured that was, and even when I started this, you know, even with the administration at Burrow and, and just, you know, everyone included, like that's, was, was kind of my timeline, you know, and they understood that, um, you know, that the family is important to me, you know? So, um, it just seemed like that now was, was the right time as my kids get a little bit older. It's not as though you would have been lacking accolades regardless of what happened this season, but the fact that you were able to guide your team to another championship after two years of not winning the WPIAL title, how special was that knowing that it would be your last season at the helm? Yeah, it was, it was, it was special, but I think even like I, even more, really more special than that was the fact that like it was pretty much 17 of the 18 kids on our roster. That was their first Whippeal championship. Um, like I said, because you know, two years of, of not winning. So you know, crowning, you know, 17 new Whippeal um, team championships definitely, you know, definitely felt special. And, you know, obviously, you, could, you know, would be lying if I said it doesn't, didn't make it a little bit easier to, to walk away, you know, knowing that, you know, we did win. But um, regardless of the result, this was, you know, going to be my last year. For a lot of coaches, a championship would clearly be their fondest memory, their greatest accomplishment. You have nine potentially to choose from, but when you think back to all the success, whether it be a particular season, a particular wrestler, or kind of just a theme throughout, what what comes to mind to kind of define what you're going to remember? Yeah, and it's like I said, it obviously you know had success, coached um, you know state champions, um, you know coached teams that you know finished top four in the state, um, you know, and, and winning state titles is important. But you know, it's really you know just getting some of those like some of those fringe guys who just kind of started believing in wrestling later on in, in life and and really it changed their life and, and they sort of committed fully to the sport and and you can truly see you know the impact the sport you know had on them and, and they might not be the most successful wrestlers but you can you can see that is, is now being around for you know 11 years and these kids are starting to get older finish college and, and go on to be successful people but um just just seeing that you know you made an impact is truly what I'll you know remember most remember most and something I'll you know always be proud of that you know whether it's one percent five percent ten percent like we made we made an impact and uh, that was kind of one of my guiding principles in coaching because it, it helped me so much right and so selfishly I had to give back to the sport and you know I, I believe I made this program has made an impact on people me in charge. Pearl's football coach Sean Liotta has told me he, he enjoys sharing wrestling guys and football guys with you because you know obviously dual sport athletes are maybe well versed in, in multiple uh physical aspects but there's a lot of schools where football coaches for instance would want those guys year round i think at burrow it's a little bit different because wrestling mm -hmm. seems like it's a little bit more important and more significant in, in that district why is burrow and wrestling so special 
as opposed to many of the other WPIL schools where it's not maybe a number one sport? Yeah, just just the history, right? The tradition at at Borough High School is unprecedented, you know, in in the Whitfield, right? Um, you know, no team has accomplished more than more than the Borough wrestling team has done in the history of of the sport. Um, and it, it even ranks up there among you know one of the top programs in the Whippeal in, in all sports, you know, based on you know accolades. Um, so that it comes with that tradition, right? And, and you know, we hopefully these guys are proud to be you know girl wrestlers, right? And that's something they they talk about, and, and they're proud to be that. And um, you know, even when they go on to you know play other sports, I think I think like I said, wrestling has been something that's guided them you know up to this point, and so they always you know kind of recognized as a wrestler first, but yeah, we love all those sport athletes. Some of our, you know, one of our best wrestlers this year, Cooper Hornack, um, you know, he was a, a football player, you know, Luke Boyle and some other kids we've always supported, you know, guys doing those other sports. I think it's, it's good cross training. Wrestling is a tough sport. Um, sometimes if you're down in the trenches grinding, you know, 24 seven at that high school level, it can kind of burn guys out, but, you know, just kind of change in pace a little bit and, and playing football, which is a tough sport, but different set of skills. Um, you know, I, I've noticed those guys come to wrestling a little more fresher, right? And, and maybe more eager to, to learn and get better. So you have been wrestling or coaching wrestling pretty much your entire life to this mm-hmm. point. You wrestled at Burl, you wrestled collegiately, and then almost immediately afterwards, you started coaching with the Buccaneers. So do you plan on potentially continuing to coach in some capacity or at least getting back into it in the future? Yeah, like I, like I mentioned earlier, like, you know, because of the impact wrestling has had on my life, um, you know, I, I will continue to share that with other people. Cause like I said, the impact it had on me. Um, so, so I, you know, I got to continue to kind of sh- share the knowledge and, and, um, and kind of preach the sport on to other people that was, that helped me so much. So I'll, I'll always coach, um, in some capacity, um, you know, looking, you know, at least these next couple of years, um, you know, like to continue on as a, you know, a volunteer at Borough or there's a local club, uh, the Matt Factory, which, you know, I'm a coach at as well. So, you know, whatever that <clears throat> critical capacity is, I'll, I'll always be, you know, involved in the sport. And, um, you know, five years from now, 10 years from now, we'll, we'll kind of see, you know, like I said, a lot of that, like I said, I got three, um, three beautiful, healthy children, um, you know, they're going to grow and they're going to continue on their own little adventures. So, you know, like I said, that they're my number one priority, um, you know, but if there ever is time, a position where, um, you know, the kids are involved in the program and, you know, I'm able to coach, I would certainly, you know, take advantage of that. Well, obviously you're not going away completely, but you are stepping aside as the head coach. And we mentioned Burl through and through going back to your days as a, a student athlete. What's the message that you have to the, the Burl community, whether it be the wrestlers that you coach, the assistants that you worked with or just the fans that came out and gave you support for the past 10 plus years yeah like i said it's, it's been an honor i was fortunate enough to you know to step into a program that was already successful and you know since, since day one um you know my, my goal personal goal was just to kind of you know make the people proud um you know that, that gave me that position the guys who have coached me um like coach and sandy uh, coach como and coach Greeley. Like I said, I was in a awesome position where those were my coaches had such an impact on me. And then, you know, after I graduated, I'm, I'm able to, you know, coach alongside them. Like I said, I just, ho- just hope I made them proud. I've had, you know, nothing but the utmost support from the community, from the administration. Um, and and truly, too, you know, there's definitely this age in sports, you, you know, parents get a bad rap. And, you know, definitely have, have seen some um, some things throughout my, you know, 10 years of, of coaching, but I will truly say the, you know, the Burrow community, the Burrow family, the Burrow parents have been a pleasure to work with, right? And, and they truly believe in this program. They, they, and they allow me to, you know, allow this our, our coaches to truly coach their kids. Um, and like I said, I just appreciate that. Well, Josh, we appreciate you taking the time. Thanks so much for doing this. Congrats on the great run that you had. And I'm sure yes, we'll still you. see you around the mat a little bit. Yes, no doubt.